welcome back to another video and it's me I'm in here from Masco Tech and today we're going to learn about selecting by ID make sure to like share and subscribe this video and hit the like on so you never miss an update let's hop right into the video we are on visual studio code so as you guys can remember probably this is what Mohammed did while he was showing you guys the color background about color how to do the background how to set a color I think so but yeah and since that um, I didn't delete this stuff so here right over here whenever I look at these three sentences I feel like they should be kind of like highlighted or something so people could think that they're more important um, and like um, they should come and read it but it's like so um, like unknown for me how to do that stuff but there's nothing we can't do in coding so we could do that by using dun, da, 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 selecting ID. So how we do that is so we're gonna remove this from this three sentences right here that we want to make them important looking kind of we'll be using selecting ID on them. So we're gonna remove that lesson sign I think because I'm confused in greater and lesson sign so yeah. And then we're gonna write um, an ID name for it. So first before that we're gonna write in ID is equals to and uh, and then what should I name it? Um, okay, we're going to name it Ada Lovelace. So we'll need quotation marks first. A, D, A, hyphen, Lovelace, L, O, V, E, L, A, C, E, Ada Lovelace. Now we're going to close it with a lesson sign here. Okay, today it's like that. So let's check if it's the highlighting thing is there. No, it's not because we forgot to do one thing. We're going to add the color, background color for the highlighter. So first we're going to write the ID name. What did I name it? Um, I named it. Um, Ada hyphen Lovelace. So we're gonna write down um, where's the a uh, hashtag capital A because we used a capital A A D A hyphen L O V E L A C E Ada Lovelace space. We're gonna put this bracket curl, curly curly bracket over there. And then in between, we're going to write down background, B-A-C-K-G-R-O-U-N-D, background hyphen color, um, colon, R-G-B. Uh-oh, here, R-G-B, just like that. Now we're going to set this to zero because we want to choose our own color actually. So that's going to be zero and zero for you, buddy. Zero. Now we can choose our color by clicking over here. So when you highlight things, there are usually the colors are like yellow, orange, green, maybe blue, pink. So today we'll be using green since it's my favorite color. So we'll be using like a bright green because those are the highlighter colors. Like that one. Perfect. Now we're going to check if it worked or no. So, wow, it did work. I'm going to try switching the color and see. Let's make it pink. Uh-oh. Like that's the most hardest part over here. No, it's kind of like light. Okay, blue. 
Okay, so most of the time this is somewhere here. Okay, we're gonna do that one anyway, because I can't find it. Wow, it looks beautiful anyway. Let's try yellow again. Wait, not again, yellow. Yellow is usually like really light and bright. So it's kind of like green and yellow mixed together, but yeah. Oh, wow, that looks more better because it kind of matches with her jewelry. She's wearing like the golden kind of headband, so yeah. And the last color I will be trying is orange. Obviously orange, one of my favorite, orange is one of my favorite colors, so I hope it looks good. It does look good. So I like every color on, like, every color there, but let's try the sea green kind of color, and that will be our last color. This is the best one I found, so yeah. That was it for this video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Bye, I'll see you.